Bopping too, but there's not. I'm digging this look. I'm really digging this look. Welcome back to my channel, my lovelies. If you are new here, my name's Nancy. Thank you so much for watching. Today I am doing a new makeup video for you guys, and if you could tell from my face, it is more of a natural, glowy look, and not my usual bold eyes, bold lips, or bold eyes, new lips really natural eyes um you may think it's not natural just because of, of the wing liner maybe that's throwing you off but i s promise you if you look at my previous videos this is more natural than i've ever done <laughs> about the makeup so yeah this was actually very very hard to do honestly because i just feel like um i have not really just done like really like light colors on my eyes like this is the only color that I have on my eyes are like this champagne shade and this like brown transition colors on the crease. Um, so that's the most I did for my eyes. But other than that, I feel like this whole look is really natural and I could just wear this out and you know, I could just wear it out for everyday looks. Although my everyday looks does not consist of this at all, honestly. It, yeah, I have more colors on my eyes. So yeah, it's a really different new look for myself. And uh, yeah, if you guys would like to see how I achieve this natural look, then please continue watching. So since I'm going with a more natural eye look, I decided to just go ahead and start with my face first. Um, my primer, foundation, and all of that. I usually start with my eye. Especially if I'm doing like a bold eye, I'm going to use this Laura Geller makeup primer. So this is called Spackle. It's a tinted makeup primer in the shade Champagne. It looks kind of like yellow like this. Never tried this before. Yeah, I kind of want more of a glowy look anyways. It feels really moisturizing too, so I really like that. Go in with my NARS concealer. I'm like running out so so much. You already know the drill. At first, just because it's more full coverage for me. And I like to just do under my eyes and spot conceal. See how it kind of covers everything already. Not really everything, <laughs> I wish. This pimple that's on my cheek that's finally gone. I am going to be mixing these two. This is the NARS Long Natural Radiant Longwear. And I have the new Marc Jacobs Shameless Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation. I got this from Influencer, so I did got this for testing purposes. Uh, so I'm super excited. I did try this both together and I think it was really, really nice together. Um, I tried using this by itself, but I don't think it has enough coverage. Oh yeah. Perfect. So the coverage together is is so much better. Ooh, looks white. <laughs> it's a little too white on me. Uh, no worries. It's gonna get fixed. Seal so we even lighter. Go in with the tart shape tape. Oh, we gotta get a new one. I'm like scraping. on my forehead and my chin. Let's go ahead and powder the face and then I will be going in with my Better Skin from Maybelline. I only like to do the bottom half. Just like saving the eyes for the Becca Brightening Powder. So I'll just use this one everywhere else. 
For the under eyes, I'm going in with my Becca Brine Powder. The, doing the eyes now, I would like to go into this Smashbox Draw In Decked Out Shadow and Con Shadow Contour and Blush Palette. And it's so pretty, it's really nice and sturdy. So I'm gonna open inside. It has a very, very nice sized mirror, which I love. You can see yourself so so good. Then of course you have the shades right here, so so pretty. Um, so as you can see, I'm going to be using the shadows from this palette to create my natural eye look. And you're probably wondering why I'm using this palette in particular to do a natural eye look when there's other colors here. These colors are so so pretty, but as you can see, there's definitely a lot more um, neutral tones. For my natural look, I don't really want to wear a lot of eyeshadow, so instead I'm going in with a nice shimmery shade. I feel like with the shimmer shade, um, you're still gonna feel like you have, like you did something to your eyes. Go back to that nice shimmer shade right here. I believe it's called Antique, but I could be wrong. Antique or sh I think it, oh no, it's champagne. Champagne because it's a nice champagne color. I'm going to put it all over my eyes. I really like the champagne color on my eyes, but I think to finish it off, I'm gonna be going in with another color. Let's just go into this nice brown transition shade called Almond. Just to give it a little bit of dimension. Since the eyes are so natural, I'm going with the liner, not too dramatic or anything, it's just my usual eyeliner. Then of course, going in with my Ciate Fierce Flicks. Liner is on and I look so creepy. I <laughs> don't any colors on my eyes, but hopefully this look will come together after brows and lashes and my whole face is done. So I look pretty creepy right now. But yes, this is very very natural for me. I don't really do anything like this like minimal I feel. Um so yeah, let's go ahead and some my lashes. Got my Morphe Bel Air lashes. These are um not too dramatic. So that's why I'm picking them and I think they will look okay. They will look perfect for like just everyday look. Okay, so lashes and brows are on. I am continuing on with the um, contour and blush on this side. So uh, let's go ahead and contour. I'm gonna go in with this shade in the center here. a nice warm shade and then from blush I want to go in with this more pinker salmon shade okay, so that's on here we actually want to bake today so baking with my Too Faced powder that down here back into the eyes. I'm just gonna put a little bit of color on the under eyes because I feel like it's just a little bit too bare. Add that real quick. Nothing too much. For the waterline, I kind of wanted to use black, but I feel like that was going to be a little bit too much and it won't be really like a natural eye anymore. Um, so I'm going in with my P2 
Pink of Me from Marc Jacobs Eyeliner instead. And I'm just going to use it on the um, waterline so it can open up the eyes. Same thing to the other side. Go ahead and dust the baking off. Go in with some highlight. And I have the Smashbox Spotlight um, Palette uh, for the highlighters. And I want to go in with this shade right here called Blow a Fuse Pearl. Cheekbones. Ooh. Wow. Look at that. I've been loving this brush for highlight lately it's just so easy to apply just apply some right there then and then lastly for lips I'm going with a natural color as well this is the dose of colors bear with me liquid lipstick I'm going to finish off with my Mario Badescu Facial Spray. 